crash and burn. Hey everybody. So tonight I am looking to discuss uh, Tim Armstrong's rock and roll theater. And as of January, 2024, the only episode that fully exists. And that of course is uh, the Lars Fredrickson starring Dante, which is of course based on Dante's Inferno, the, the poem that he wrote that Dante Alicahari, uh, it doesn't matter. He wrote it when he was exiled back in the 14th century. He apparently finds the entrance to hell. Um, and so that is Tim Armstrong and Company's, or sorry, this is Tim Armstrong and Company's reworking of that tale to put it into a modern day setting about Dante Wilson, played by Lars Fredrickson, who is a very corrupt businessman who finds out that hell isn't exactly what he thought it was and heaven is definitely not what he thought it was. It's a musical which is, at first, on the surface, a little strange for the guys in Rancid. But as Armstrong put it in an interview I read, he said that doing musicals isn't that crazy of an idea. He's like, he's used to making like tons of music videos and working with big ass crews and writing all sorts of different types of music. So bringing them all together in a musical setting wasn't actually that much of a stretch for him. But it was totally shocking for me because like we'd seen Tim Armstrong grow as a songwriter um, since 1993 with his band Rancid, and of course prior to that he was in Operation Ivy, as everybody knows. He's been churning out some of the best songs that like we've ever heard consistently since the 80s. And so for him to do a musical, it was like, really? Because I don't really like musicals. The only musical I ever really signed off of was the uh, musical episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which was of course once more with feeling. Oh, dude, that had, I, I've got a theory on it, that had Spike, oh my god, rest in peace. Jesus Christ, Spike's song was the best. But I don't really like musicals. And so when I heard about this, I was like, oh. And then when I saw it, the fact that Lars did a really good job acting in it, and Davey Havoc plays the most fun devil ever. He's like the most inviting type of Satan you would want. And the guys in the fishbone pop up. And I just, I love how on one hand, the production seems very expensive and it looks very slick. But then on the flip side, with using this whole, the sort of like live freaky, die freaky, Hot Wheels sort of animation thing, especially the live freaky, die freaky, die cast Hot Wheels toys being used. It was also very affordable. However, that being said, you know, this still cost some money. And Armstrong, being the ultimate like punk rock god that he is, um, put them the, the episode as well as the entire 13 or 14 song soundtrack up on rockandrolltheater.tv for five bucks back when this launched on October 21st, 2011. Five dollars. You get a half an hour musical that looks amazing, sounds amazing, super colorful, super bright, super fun. Davey Havoc from AFI is in it. Like I said, the guys from Fishbone pop up. Five dollars and you get all the songs that Armstrong wrote for it as well. That is considerate. However, he really should have charged 20 bucks because I would have gladly paid 20 bucks for all of this. Five dollars for this almost feels like morally wrong. Like we should have all have had the option of paying a base five dollars or more because I would have gladly, like I said, given 20 or more for this. This was amazing, but I just find it so strange that no one has signed off on doing more episodes. The only thing that stands is the, uh, the, uh, the trailer story for Susie Reanimated. And that has never happened. Now, according to the producer, David Robertson, who's a longtime uh, um, conspirator of Armstrong and Rancid's, he's produced videos for them. He's, pr he's produced videos for everybody. He's been going forever. He's produced videos for 30 Seconds to Mars, Eminem, Britney Spears. D like, the name, like David Robertson, is known in the world of music video production. And this was directed by Kevin Kerslake, who's another massive director. He's been going forever. He's, what, he's done uh, videos for Rise Against. He's done videos for Rancid. He's done videos for Bon Jovi. And so it was directed by Kevin Kerslake, and it was produced by David Robertson as well as Tim Armstrong. And the music, of course, and the script and everything, according to Robertson, was all Armstrong. Armstrong had reached out to his rather large crew of people that he knew over the years that he'd met them making tons of music videos and whatnot in order to set up the lion's share of the people that you would need in order to pull a production like this off. And The Hard Times did an interview with uh, Robertson back in 2019, and he's making it sound like as of the then present day, that the other 11 episodes are going to be a go. They're just looking for like-minded investors. 
So I like that at least Robertson had a very positive spin on it as of 2019, saying that Armstrong has apparently already demoed a bunch of the songs for the, the subsequent episodes, as well as he's got a few scripts ready to go. They're just looking for financial backers. So that basically, if anybody out there watching this is rich and they love Rancid, give them some money so that they can at least make Susie reanimated. That fucking trailer's rad. And I just don't understand why nobody else is talking about this. Nobody else has talked about what happened to the other episodes other than, like, like I said, the article I read at the Hard Times back in 2019 that I checked out just before doing this video. And there's this huge gap. There's nothing on YouTube. Nobody's questioning what happened to it. No, nobody questions what happened to it. Nobody questions if it's going to happen. There's nobody talking about this at all. And I find that really weird because this was amazing. I mean, misconceptions, right? I mean, because there's so many misconceptions of hell. Like, fuck me. Come on, guys. You got to make more of these. And I, I'm, I'm, this is already running too long, so I am going to stop. So thank you so much for hanging out with me for about seven minutes while I discussed the only episode of Tim Timebomb's Rock and Roll Theater, and that is Dante, as well as discussing why the other episodes have not come to fruition as of yet. God, fingers crossed on that one. Like always, bunch of good stuff. You're an amazing person. The world is a better place because you are in it. I'm going to go because, again, I'm getting kind of hot. Have a good night.